Hey Leo, Sachan here, Psychic Love Coach, and this is going to be another love reading for you. To book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also find me on Wizio as well as Instango. All the links to book a reading with me are in the description box below. While you're checking out the description box, check out your free resources and also enter to win this month's love reading drawing. Don't forget to thumbs up. Leos and like this reading, comment, subscribe to my channel as well. All right, Leos, let's go ahead and get into your reading now. Let's start off with the overall energy here with this victory woman holding a coin and financial restraints card. So, Leos, we can see here that there have been some financial constraints. You've been feeling as though. You don't have the money that you want, that you need. You could be feeling impoverished at this time. Some of you have been working, but you're not making the money that you want. Some of you um, are unemployed at this time. A lot of people are unemployed at this time. Some of you could be unemployed at this time. Or you could, of course, be having money problems. Problems with stability and security. But I love these cards here. Because where you had these problems, things are shifting. We have here the woman with a coin. And this is speaking of you, Leos, making your coins, making your coins, making money. Money is coming in. You could be involved in a new job, a new career, a new opportunity to make money. For some of you, I'm hearing that there are opportunities to make money that are readily available to you right in front of you. However, you may not be utilizing these opportunities. For example, um, I know myself, I'm a Leo rising and right next to me in, in the corner of my eye, I see a box of designer perfumes that I have that I can sell and should sell. So think about other ways, oh, excuse me, you guys, my voice is a little hoarse right now. <clears throat> so sorry about that, that sounded weird. So think of other ways that you can bring in money, but whatever you're doing, I see you feeling much more comfortable. I feel like you're going to be feeling much more comfortable. I do see money coming in. I see here luxury. I see here abundance for you. Enjoy when it comes to that. Also, we have this victory card. This is number 28. This is speaking of, of course, Leo's victory in your finances. And I'm also feeling like you're moving towards victory in all areas and everything that means important to you. Money, love, creativity, career. That's really, really positive, Leo. And it's just like, look at all that golden energy. I love that. I love that golden energy there. So you are victorious. A new cycle is coming where you have problems with financial stability and security. Now the wheel is turning in your favor and you are victorious and you are I'm feeling like you're going to be feeling yourself. I'm just feeling like you're going to be in that really nice regal Leo energy, being able to have what you want, being able to feel comfortable. And I feel like that's also going to make you more romantically attractive. Leos, at the end of this reading, or not at the end, when we go into the guidance, we will pull some cards for money and how you can increase your money and have more money. So stay tuned for that. And we're also going to go into your love guidance as well. Let's go into this Lenormand spread first. We have this gentleman here. And this could be you or this can be the person that you're involved with. Take this as it resonates. Now, I do see here like a reunion or some conversations between friends. I'm seeing communication being a really big theme 
throughout your reading here. I'm seeing communication being a really big theme. So there is going to be an important conversation that you have. I'm feeling like this important conversation could help you make a decision or help you go in a new direction in some way, bringing improvements to your life. I do see here with this gentleman house bear combination that you will be having some very big conversations and they're positive conversations. There could be local distance travel for some of you. Somebody could be traveling to you to meet with you. Oh yeah, I see travel here, the stork and the crossroads. Um, for a meeting, for a meeting, a visit, travel, short distance, so a commute. I see here a conversation that's gonna allow you to feel very empowered as well. Feel strong. You're gonna feel strong in your communication. I just heard new and improved. New and improved. Is there a new and improved Leo? I got to write that down. Oh, excuse me. Let me see if I can find something here. Okay. I like that message. New and improved Leo. I'm feeling like the sun is coming up. I just got an uh, image in my third eye of the sun rising, which is you. Improvements are coming to your love life, to your finances. Positive change is coming. New opportunities are coming. Again, you could be going in another direction here. I'm also seeing here a theme of two. We have the crossroads. We have the owls. Some of you are dealing with more than one person or you have more than one opportunity or there's more than one conversation that comes up. We have the bear here, I'm noticing. And the bear, besides speaking of a very big conversation that you could be having, the bear also speaks of wealth and possessions and material things. You could be communicating with the male about that, about improving these things. Someone could come in and help you. And of course, this could be someone that you have a romantic connection with. This could be a boss even for some of you. You're going in a new direction to where things are much better for you. Things weren't always so positive, I can see. We do have the five of pentacles here. However, this five of pentacles is in the reverse. You are having money problems with this five of pentacles here in the reverse. This card also could be speaking of not having the money that you want or that you need, not being employed, not being recognized and getting the money uh, for your talents. But there are changes coming, the Five of Pentacles. I'm being drawn here to this uh, Five as well. Hmm. Five and Five, of course, is 10. 28, 10. Major new beginnings, major new cycles, ending of this poverty. I'm feeling also endings of feeling impoverished in your love life. Whatever it is that you've been wanting when it comes to your money, when it comes to your opportunities, career, job, business, all those wonderful things are pouring into your life now. I'm, I'm hearing cornucopia. I'm hearing cornucopia. So you're going to feel as though you have an abundance of wonderful things in your life. And that's awesome, Leo. I'm really happy about that. I mean, I'm a Leo rising. I just got chills. Oh, yeah, I just got chills. I'm a Leo rising, so I'm excited about that. I think, Leos, that we deserve this. I think that we deserve this. What do you think? With this five here in the reverse, this is speaking of the Hierophant. And the Hierophant usually does things in a conventional way. He does things as they have always been done. This five of, or this Hierophant here, Hierophant energy is in the reverse. You're going about things in an unconventional way. You're going about things making money in, in your love life. Okay, with making money, you're going about things in a new way. And again, I'm stressing to you that 
there could be opportunities for you to make money that are different than what you thought. You could have had a plan. Okay, I'm going to get this job. And then you find out that there's something better for you. There's so many ways that that can manifest. Money is coming in in unconventional ways. I'm feeling like that gives you more security in general. Now I'm hearing that some of you, I just heard some of you may not be overly focused on romance. Cancer got a very similar uh, message as well. So if you have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a cancer or just because, go ahead and check that reading as well. And that will give you some additional messages, including how to make more money. Page of Pentacles here. Page of Swords in the reverse. There's messages coming up. I'm feeling like there's somebody who you've been communicating with where there could have been some good communication and then things were certainly not as good. We'll get into that in a moment. With this page of pentacles, you could be a student. You could be, or the person you're involved with could be a student. Um, someone here is bringing um, new opportunities and education and business and money opportunities and because this is pinnacles these opportunities and this inflow may not come right away it's building and that's really the way you want it because what easy come easy go There could also be new love coming in for you. With all these people here, it's like a party. You could be, again, you could be dealing with more than one person. Like you could be dealing with a boss here or someone who has a boss energy, someone in a high job position, someone with a lot of power. And then you could also be dealing with someone who's younger or someone who's more immature or someone who's starting out in their journey as well so you could be dealing with someone older dealing with someone younger just take this as it resonates this is a general reading this card reads scholarly cheerful dependable mischievous time to get to work you could be focusing more on work right you're coming out of these financial restraints constraints you're holding your coins in your hand so you're putting in the work you're putting in the effort an excellent opportunity presents itself. There we go. Positive opportunities. Happy news about your career promotions and scholarships, a new area of study. So again, you're, you're learning something new. I'm also hearing creative projects. You could be starting or engaging in a new creative project. But again, we have happy news about your career, about promotions or scholarships. Your money is coming in. You have good news when it comes to that. There's a lot of money here going on. And I'm also hearing that this is really positive for you, Leo, because now that you get these things squared away, now that you get these constraints, you know, figured out, now you have more time to focus on romance or dating or love, even though it may not seem like it because some of you took up, you know, new jobs, new things, new positions, more responsibilities. But the great thing is without the worries of money and finances cycling in your mind, you know, hanging out in your mind. You can focus on other things, at least in your spare time. You can think about other things. Now, this, uh, I'm not so fond of this right here. We have the page of swords in the reverse. So this is someone who likes to talk mess behind somebody's back. This is someone who likes to gossip, who likes to give out, you know, scandalous information or who likes to receive it to get the scoop on somebody else. This is also a spy. Somebody could be looking at your social media and I'm feeling very heavily or somebody just could be watching you somehow or asking people about you. Nevertheless, this is somebody that you got to be careful of. And I'm feeling like because this is in your present energy, you can have an idea of who this person is. 
But I'm seeing someone here who could be kind of a shadester, somebody who's really focused on themselves and doesn't really have that empathy or care for somebody else, for another person. This is somebody I'm feeling like who's just very like young-minded or immature in the way that they go about things. I'm also just feeling like this person is very charming as well, very attractive, very charming. Something unexpected could come up as well. Something unexpected could come up with this page of wands in the reverse. So I'm just looking at these upright meanings here, logical, perspective, insightful, blunt. This to me is somebody who's blunt in a wrong way. Brilliant insights. I'm feeling like somebody who can't really, actually it's like somebody who can't really see the bigger picture, but also somebody who can be, uh, what, how do I say this? Look at things with like a laser focus, like what it is that they want, how they can achieve it. I'm just hearing the ends justifies the means. We also have this king here, this lovely king of swords. The King of Swords stands for somebody who is rational, not so much emotional, who thinks with their head over their heart. I'm feeling like this could represent someone coming into you, Leo. This can also represent your energy as well. If this is representing your energy, you're being careful, logical about who you let into your life, your space. You could have realized that you don't want to deal with bullshit anymore. So now you're being very careful about who you deal with, who you let into your energy, because you don't want to just let anybody just come up and hijack your energy, your good energy. I mean, you're doing great. I'm sure this money-making feeling feels amazing. And you could also be more focused on your career or your intellectual pursuits or your position more so than feeling emotional. Not to say that the king of swords isn't a doesn't want to be in a relationship because he does, but he's just not as emotional as other signs like the king of cups, right? I'm also seeing you making very big decisions here, making very big decisions that you are looking at in the most rational of ways, which is a good thing. Sometimes we can get swept up by our emotions and that's not always a positive thing because our emotions can cause us to not see things clearly and not see things as they really are. For example, it's like if you've ever been in a toxic relationship and stayed in a toxic relationship, what was the reason of you staying there? Because of your emotions. That's why we stay in relationships that aren't good for us because we have emotions attached to it. We don't think with our head, we think with our heart. I feel like you're thinking with your head. First of all, first off, thinking with your head and, you know, open to letting your heart out too. I mean, you're Leos, you guys are, you know, you have very big hearts. You guys are like the biggest hearts out of all the signs, you know? And your heart is very precious. That Leo love, that Leo heart, whoever receives that, who's that, whoever's on the receiving end of that is a lucky person. And you realize that. You realize that. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice. Someone could come in and give you some advice. Even this young person, I'm feeling like. Somebody could come in and give you some really good advice about your love life, about your money, about moving forward. Remain objective and fair-minded. That's what we're talking about, being objective and fair-minded. Public speaking. Communication. Look, we have all this communication. Communication, 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 communication. There's important messages coming in for you. So just pay attention to them when they hit your ear. And know that it's not just, you know, something that hits your ear and it's just coincidence or, you know, not significant. You're going to know what these messages are. I feel like they're going to resonate with you. 
unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. Again, he's not so emotional, more logical. I'm feeling like this is definitely your energy, definitely your energy. And this can also be somebody coming in. Because we have these two pages here, I feel like there's somebody coming in that's younger, again, that's younger or more mature. This could be somebody under 30, I'm hearing. We have this Four of Cups in the reverse, also with the Hangman energy, which I really like this. Ooh, I just noticed this is also Archangel Shamuel here. Archangel Shamuel is the angel, the archangel that deals with soulmate relationships, love relationships, reconciliations, clearing misunderstandings. And he is here with you and with you as you move forward. I recommend reaching out to Archangel Shamuel, C-H-A-M-U-E-L. Reaching out to Archangel Shamuel and asking him, asking Archangel Shamuel to assist you in connecting with your soulmate, attracting your soulmate, reconciling with your soulmate. Asking him to help you in divine and perfect ways. If you don't know exactly what direction you want to go in or what you want. This is very positive energy. This is also saying, I feel like you are, especially here too. I feel like you're looking forward towards the future. Or you're making decisions about the future because you want something more positive moving forward. So you're making large decisions about the future using your head. And you're looking forward towards the future and you're building something great for yourself. You are not only, you know, it's like, I feel like you're on the, the precipice. I don't know if that's the right word, but you're at the beginning stages. It's like, okay, the fool, right? The fool number zero in the tarot. He's just starting off on his journey. And there's so much unknown. But the fool is going to go about it anyway. And I feel like the fool has a positive outlook that things are going to work out well for him. So he just jumps, jumps into it, knowing that he'll fall safely. So you are in that very, very victorious energy. You're motivated. You're ready. You are ready. You're pumped. You're about to do the damn thing, Leo. Do the damn thing. You deserve it. This is your time. Step out into, I'm hearing step out into the limelight for some of you. I just heard step out into the limelight, step out into the public. I'm seeing some of you on stage with lights on you. So you could be doing something where you are um, seen by many people. And again, this could even have something to do with communication because I'm seeing somebody on a, on a stage. So what do you do on a stage? You communicate. You talk, you sing, you know, there's communication. Let yourself be seen. Let yourself be known. Embody your energy and your strength and your power and your passion. Things are moving forward for the positive. We have that all over this reading too. Where things were stuck, they shall be stuck no more. And things are going to be picking up the pace very very quickly things could have been slow here with the page of pentacles things could have been slow in the near future they're going to pick up pace and you will no longer feel stuck this resonates with the hangman energy the hangman but the hangman is in reverse so he has had the time to contemplate to look at the situations that he's in, the situation that he's in, the situation that he's been through, he's had enlightenment. He knows what he did not know before because he took the time. He took the time away and figured things out. I'm hearing some of you could have took a, taken a sex break or taken a dating break. And that gave you time to think or just uh, shift your perspective for maybe one or two of you. 
So things are really moving forward in a positive way. You could have also been, okay, so again, maybe you haven't been like dating or not really engaging with people, not socializing in some way, staying to yourself. I'm feeling like some of you could have just been feeling like, no, I just don't want to deal. Just not, just not having it. This is a really good time to reconnect with others, to reconnect with friends, acquaintances, shoot, fuck buddies, whatever you want, reconnect. This is also a good time to make new friends and really think about what do relationships mean to you? What? How do you want your relationships to go? What do you want your relationships to look like? I'm sensing some of you did not have the relationships that you wanted in the past. This is a good time to make that change. Bring on that new cycle in romance. Do things in a different way. You still could be a little uh, closed off to this page of swords or afraid to open your heart. And what I just heard in my inner ear is, have fun, take it lightly, don't take it seriously, um, but also keep your wits about you and remain emotionally detached from this page of swords. That's a message for at least one or two of you that I just got. Somebody here has been kind of sneaky. This person could have even betrayed you. Some of you are dealing with a uh, three-party situation. The crossroads can represent multiple people, multiple partners, and we have the snake, and the snake can represent the other woman. There may be multiple players in this game. Again, we have like all these people going on here. There has been, okay, so there has been some difficulties in your relationships, relational abuse. You could have been through, been in toxic relationships. Somebody could have done you wrong recently. You were noticing the red flags likely about this page of swords because this is the shady character in the bunch here. So I'm going to assume it's this person here because this is the only person here that would do that. The king of swords, he, he's not going to do that. He's too damn busy taking care of his business and being logical. He doesn't have time for like emotional manipulation to play with feelings or to deal with somebody's feelings after he manipulated them to deal with the, the, the crazy feelings that happen. He doesn't have time for that. He's he's no, he doesn't do that. So there have been red flags that you've noticed, likely about this person here, who uh, these red flags have been either emotional in nature, financial in nature. Somebody could have taken advantage of you financially, physically, sexually. And now, oh my gosh, look at this. This is like all over your reading. Look, victory changes the graduate new life phase or stage in relationships. Someone has grown, healed, and evolved. That's you. You've grown. You've healed. You've evolved. Excellent. And you're looking real good. Look at that. The sun. You're shining so bright. You got to put your shades on. You're shining so damn bright that you got to put your shades on. It's like you're shining too bright for yourself. <laughs> you're shining too bright for yourself. You can never shine too bright, though. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. If this is a new energy for you, though, you may have to get used to it. I'm hearing a new sense of confidence for some of you. You are just looking good. You are attractive, not only on the outside, beautiful Leo, but also on the inside. People are attracted to you. You have a great personality. And that matters way more than looks, first off. Like myself, I'm attracted to how somebody treats me first. Looks, sex, all that. Mm -mm. That's an afterthought. That's an after, you know, effect. I like how you treat me. That's what attracts me. 
Because if you're not, like, you know, if you're not attractive on the inside, you're really not attractive on the outside. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I'm not attracted to people who can be the most beautiful person in the world. Very nice, symmetrical features, you know, physically attractive. But if they have a shit personality, then, like, ew, you're not attractive. So you've been having very nice interactions with people, or I feel like people have been having nice interactions with you. You're just coming across like, I feel like just really cool, really chill, like confident in your in yourself, like feeling comfortable in your skin. You're just having a good time. But you know what I see here? Okay. So there's this energy about this big conversation going on here, right? All this communication we've been talking about. And Leo... There's some part of this that you are just not having. When this communication comes in, or maybe this is big conversation. However, this unfolds for you. When some conversation comes in, when some communication comes in, you're not even interested. You are not even interested because one, you are realizing that there are amazing things out there for you. And your life is moving better, moving forward in a better way. And it could be that you are more focused on your finances than any bullshit that somebody has to bring you, like this page of swords in the reverse. That's a waste of time. That's a distraction from making those coins. So you're not dealing with it. You are avoiding this person, avoiding a conversation. You are setting boundaries. You're also setting boundaries. Which is very, very positive. We teach people how to treat us. So it's important to set boundaries. So we don't get stepped, over, stepped on or walked all over or mistreated. I feel like you're doing things in a different way when it comes to that. In a stronger way. It's just what I'm sensing. There's strength here. There's strength. And I'm feeling like you are now feeling more strong against the opposite sex, the same sex, whatever you... Prefer, Leo. You know. Leo, don't be afraid to open your heart and make sure you open it up to the right person. But I, I know you already know that. You already know that. This is just a reminder. Let's go into your money messages. We're going to pull a few cards and then we'll go into your love guidance. So let's see how you can make some more money because I see you are all about the Benjamins right now. Them coins, that scrilla, simoleons, guap, paper, yaper, chatter. <laughs> Let's get a Leo. How can you make more money? How, how can us Leos make some more money? How can we bring some more money in, guys? Universal Bake of Abundance. Ooh, we got cards coming out. Okay, I'm just going to take these. Uh-huh. Let me just make sure that these are the messages for you because I just had three fall out. So let me just make sure and check so I don't give you guys the wrong message. Uh huh, 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 uh huh. All right, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Powerful and mighty thoughts or things, achievement. Let's just take these two. Okay. These are the two at the top of the bottom. Powerful and mighty, Leos. Powerful and mighty is the human mind. It builds or destroys. Oh my gosh. This is, oh my gosh. This was the perfect message. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Powerful and mighty is the human mind. Thoughts or things. It builds or it destroys. Focus on money. Focus on achievement. Focus on building that money, okay? Because your thoughts are things. When we have a poverty mindset, that's what we attract. When we think that we're not going to make enough money or money's not available to us, guess what? Money is in abundance. You know how much money is printed every day? There's so much money printed every day. Nevertheless, money comes from the universal bank of abundance. So call out to the bank of abundance, and ask for your, your due. And do the work to get it. And you will be rewarded. Truly thoughts are things and powerful things that when they are mixed with definiteness of purpose, 
persistence and a burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. Let's say that again. Truly thoughts are things and powerful things. So your thoughts are powerful things that when they are mixed with definiteness of purpose, again, you know what you want. It's also a good idea, Leo, I'm hearing for you to really know, okay, how much do I want to earn? How much do I want to make a year? Be uh, definite. Be definite in what it is that you want. Persistence and being persistent, working on it, right, as we talked about, and a burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. And then achievement. So use your mind state. That will benefit you in achieving. I wish to convey the thought that all achievement, no matter what may be its nature or its purpose, must begin with an intense burning desire for something definite. We got that message twice, being definite. So be definite about what it is that you want. Decide what it is that you want. Look at your options as to how to get it, how to get it and do the damn thing. All right. And duh. Okay, let's see. Let's go to this adapt card first. You are trying to adapt yourself to nature's laws by endeavoring to convert desire into its physical or monetary equivalent. You can do it. It has been done before. And you know what? Every like money-making idea starts with a thought. The thought of, you know what? I want to get up and go get this job. I want to make this business. You know, I want to do this. Every, like, every time someone makes money, it begins with a thought. So you're trying to adapt to that, to thinking in a new way. By thinking in a new way and by bringing in money in different ways, in new ways. You can do it. It's been done before. You are not the first, nor will you be the last person to go from a place of constraint to riches, to fortunes. Ideas are the beginning. Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh, I had to take a stretch on that one. Oh, hold on. Jesus. Okay. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. Ideas are the products of the imagination. Were we not just talking about that? Okay. So that's a pretty strong message. Ideas are part of the imagination. So think about what it is that you want to do and do it. And look, what's, look what's on the top. Hold up. Conquer that shit. Conquer it. Conquer it. You got this. You got this, Leo. All right. You got this. All right. Let's get your love messages here. I'm going to shuffle my mega deck here i call this my mega deck look how thick it is it's four decks in one so we get all them good messages leo let's get them good messages what guidance give me them good messages for leo like good good what messages do we have for leo come on guys give me some good what messages do we have what guidance do we have for leo in love what messages what guidance do we have for leo in love thank you so much the messages for leo in love what are oh 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 all right Mega deck. All right, so we got two that came out. Two. Three. And boom. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Leo's thumbs up and like this reading. Thumbs up and like this reading if you've been enjoying it. If you want to claim this beautiful change, thumbs up. Claim this for yourself. Bring on that energy. Stay strong in your faith, Leo. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Not only in money, in romance as well. You have victory available to you. Again, claim it. You have victory available to you. If you want it, you can have it. But you got to look at your thoughts first. What are you thinking, Leo? Are you thinking that you're not going to get what you want? Are you thinking that it's not going to come to you? What are you thinking? Notice your thoughts. And if you see any discrepancies between what you're thinking and what it is that you want or the direction that you're trying to go, go in and change that around. Change that. You know, we're in control of our thoughts. Our thoughts are not, our thoughts don't control us. We are in control of our thoughts. If we don't like a thought, we can choose to think something different. And if those thoughts come up that are not in vibration with the direction that you're trying to go, just switch the thoughts to something different. For example, if you hear a message coming up like, oh my God, money's so hard to come by. No, change that message. Actually, that's not true. There's so much money in the world. 
Money is abundant. There's no shortage of money. I can have money too. You see what I'm saying? And this, of course, applies with love too. Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. I'm feeling like this has to do with relationships, feeling, fearing that others may try to control you in relationships. This is also speaking about utilizing your God-given strength. Here we go. Your God-given strength and power in general. You are in control. Also, I'm hearing you are in control. So I know this talks about control issues, but I'm feeling like you are in control of your destiny. You are in control of your life. Others do not have the ability to control you. You are driving the magic school bus. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Goodbye to the old. Hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. How many times do we get that? How many times do we get that? You are new and improved, Leo. New and improved. Going down a new direction, a different way. Like becoming stronger, more powerful here. More powerful. Leveling up. Leveling up. It is important for you to ground yourself. For you to ground yourself, okay? When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded, although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you to balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. It could be good to work with red stones that resonate with the root chakra. When I need to ground myself, that's what I do. I focus on these stones like red jasper. Garnet, I feel like garnet is for protection also. But it is deep red. I know red jasper at the least. <laughs> so work, you can work with these crystals as well. Surround yourself. It's a fire sign. You can light some incense, some nag chapa, meditate. Spend some time in contemplation. Let's get into your final message, Leo. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and being here with me to the end of this reading if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe all right leo's your final message give me a final message for leo's give me some good guys give me some good it's a good reading give me some good i like it all right guys whoa got it damn it just flew out did you guys see yeah you kind of saw that on huh? all right that's your message Bam, let's do it. Dearest Leo, we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is not about releasing yourself from the burdens of an old story. I'm, excuse me. Forgiveness is about, excuse me. Forgiveness is about, it is about, Releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of somebody else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. You don't have to worry about this anymore. The control issues, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You're new and improved. You don't do that anymore. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others. And that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine, Leo what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. Lovely Leos, these are the messages that I have for you. Thank you again for hanging out with me. Thumbs up and like this reading if you enjoyed it, if the messages resonate with you, if you wanna claim this beautiful change from the old to the new, hit that thumbs up button. Also comment and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, check the description box below. You can find me at my website, mypsychelovecoach.com. There are also ways, other ways to get in touch with me below. 
I'm sending you so much love, so much light, Leo. Check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. You can also check out the sign that rules your seventh house as well as your Venus sign or any sign that is heavily aspected in your chart. I will see you lovely Leos here soon. Thank you. Mwah. Bye.